what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? After a school shooting in his state by a crazy man, a Florida man voluntarily turned in his semi-automatic rifle to the police because he said he didn't need it. Ben Dickman, a resident of Tarmac, Florida, turned in his AR-57, a variant of the AR-15, to the Broward Sheriff's Office on Friday in the same county where a gunman killed teachers and children at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School on Wednesday. In a Facebook post, he wrote that even though he's a responsible, highly trained gun owner, he doesn't see a need for the average person to own the powerful firearm. Okay, so based on one shooting, you have one guy who turns in one assault rifle. How many parents do you believe that went out and bought assault rifles to protect their children based on that same one shooting? You see, this is America. We are a knee-jerk society something happened, we just react and we just blurt out stuff and we don't really give it a whole lot of thought. We don't really do a lot of critical thinking. I can guarantee you that after the cameras go off, just give it a few days, you will have a cop who uses that same assault rifle to gun down an unarmed citizen. Happens all the time. That's probably I bet you when he turned that assault rifle in, <laughs> I bet you the, the cops were in there like, I got it, I got, I, I got first dibs on it. Oh, that's me, I asked for it first. I asked for it first. They, they probably like gambled to decide ownership. To me, that's like cutting your balls off because your neighbor keeps having children. You know, like giving the police your gun. Oh, no, they are the last people who need more guns. They can't be trusted. So they're talking about this gun ban. No, oh, man, the police, the government, they cannot be trusted. They have a long history of abusing their authority. They cannot be trusted. If I thought for one moment they really cared about the people, I would be the first one to say, let's ban these guns. Let's ban all of the guns. But the police are not responsible gun owners themselves. They have horrible gun ownership records. They don't have critical thinking abilities. Most of them don't have critical thinking abilities. They just don't. So you know this is America, so everything can be bought. So you pass stricter gun regulations. Let's say you take all the guns off the streets from the citizens. And because everything can be bought, everything is about a dollar. Of course, you're going to have the black market, the underground market, where people are buying guns off the streets and it's going to dry the price up. You're going to have more killings, just like with uh, cocaine, drugs. It's just going to make it worse. The same thing happened with prohibition. It's going to be the same thing. It's going to be worse because America is a greedy, capitalistic society. It is one where your law officials and your politicians will do the dirtiest deeds and they will have their media propaganda machine clean it up for them. Wash it away from them. That's what they do, man. That's how they get down. No, I don't trust the man because also what you will have, you will have the people who can afford the guns to have special permits to carry, right? Oh, because you are a member of law enforcement, you get to pack a gun. Never mind that you ain't in the streets, that you're not dealing with criminals, you just... You just work at the county jail 
and they gave you a badge, you got a suit and a badge, you work in the county jail, and all you do is process. That's all you do. You don't do nothing else. Or you take pictures, or you serve the food, or you, I mean, you oversee the kitchen. That's what you do. That's it. You don't even have to deal with the inmates. You just in the kitchen overseeing the cooks and stuff. That's it. Make sure the food is properly prepared. Or you work in the commissary department where you're behind the doors, you know, where you can be, you're protected. So you get a gun. Then, then the, the doctor gets a gun. The, the, the priest gets a gun because he visits, he visits prisons. So he gets a gun. Um, the people who work in the food department, they get a gun. The, the judges get a gun. The city council people get a gun. Because I drive for the city councilman, I get a gun. Um, the, the people who uh, work in, let's say, all the people that work in Congress, they get a gun. You know, that's automatic. So they get a gun um, because my brother, or uncle, or cousin, or friend is a congresswoman or congressman, then I get a gun because he can make it happen because, hey, man, you know, it's a loophole for everything. You see? And, and anybody with real money going to be able to get a gun legally. See? It's like nobody can have guns. No citizens can, no citizens can have guns except under these circumstances. And they'll figure out a way. And what they do is that a lot of times they make sure that the language is very ambiguous so that, you know, they, they have the latitude to decide what they can do, who, they, who they're going to permit to have a gun and who they're not going to permit. So, no, if, if any of them can have a gun, I want my gun too. Hell no. These damn cops, they cannot be trusted. No. Hell no. They're already breaking into people's houses. They're, they're doing home invasions. Cops are doing home invasions already. they stealing right now. That's cops in every city right now in America stealing right now. They're violating people's civil rights right now. They're pulling somebody over. They're playing and fundling some woman right now. No, man. Y'all better pump your brakes on that. The problem with America is not the guns. It is the mentality of the people that has no compassion in America. That's the problem. They're going to have lawyers with the guns. They're going to have, oh, and they'll have doctors. They'll have, you know, of course, the bail bond. Oh, no, man. No, 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 no. Y'all just remember, man, what happened when Hitler forced people to give up their guns. Remember what he did. You just go back to history. He forced people to give up their guns, and then he quickly proceeded to slaughter hundreds of thousands of people. Guns are like money to me. It's better to have a gun and not need it than to need it and not have it. For the people out there who are for stricter gun laws, I guess dude turning in his assault rifle is a good thing. So that's a victory for y'all. One down, 300 million to go. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.